Hey guys, I'm Robin, coming at you from my art studio in Beverly Hills, California. Don't be impressed, it's a shitty part of it. I'm going to read you something in a minute, but first things first, how the hell are you? What are you up to today? What are you going to eat for lunch? Do you bring a sack lunch? Do you bring, uh... Money, do you bring? Does your mommy give you some change to go get some milk and crackers? <laughs> milk and crackers? What am I talking about? I'm a little delirious because I've had no sleep. None. Not none, but maybe like two hours. I had to stay up really late working and get up early and work. And now I'm, now I'm talking to you guys. Shout out to everyone in prison. I remember one time Wendy Williams said that, and I loved it. I used to watch Wendy Williams all the time. I don't have cable anymore, guys. Deal with it. It makes me sad. But I think I'm going to get it again in like four weeks. So what do you think of that? Um, yeah, so last night I hadn't done this. Um, this used to happen to me a lot. Just to, just to, I want to say this. I think I've said it many times. I've never done any drugs. Like I'm not a drug person. In fact, back in high school, I was the president of Mustangs Against Drugs. I think it was called Mustangs Against Drugs. Uh, Mustangs was our um, sponsor. What are they called? Your little animal guide, guide, guides, animal guides in high school? Spirit animals? No. What? Oh, I, you know what? We're just going with it. Let's just call them spirit guides. Um, anyway, Mustang. Yeah, so I was the president of that. I may have even founded it. I founded many clubs in high school, yet the only people that would go to the meetings were all my um, friends who loved drugs and drinking. I think it was Mustangs Against Drinking and Drugs. Clever. Well, anyway, and they would just come and make fun of me, and I liked it. That, that shows you how unhealthy I was. Um, not really. I wasn't that unhealthy. I just didn't know what was going on, you know? I didn't realize that that was kind of weird, that I was passionate about this not drinking and doing drugs, and yet all I did was surround myself with people who did. Not entirely. I mean, I had my best friends didn't, but a lot of my, a lot of my friends did. Well, anyway, I'm not anti-drinking or drugs for other people. That, that's certainly not my whole thing. But... Um, Oh, what I'm getting into is so occasionally when I work really long hours, late at night, I'll hallucinate weird things. And last night I was kind of staring at this piece I'm working on, and I, I don't know how this happened, but I saw an egg like roll across the wall, almost as if I was looking at the floor and it had like a hard-boiled egg rolled across real slow. But it wasn't there. There was no egg, and it was on the wall. So it was defying gravity if it did happen. Hold on. I really have to drink some more coffee. I can feel I'm about to have a coughing, coughing attack. Anyway, that happened. A couple of other things happened, and finally I was like, oh, my God, I've got to go to bed. Um, all right, moving on. Let's read. So I guess this is Argentine Poet Week because my good friend... Stephanie Gehring, who I have still not met in real life, by the way, but I'm a big fan of her work, and we're good friends. Uh, she, I'm going to put a link so you can find out all about her, but I've read her on the podcast a couple of times, and I will continue to do so, and I want to um, give her a shout-out. There was a couple of recent readings at Malvern Books in Austin that she was a part of, and she's an excellent reader. Um, I, and I don't say that lightly because I don't love the way most people read poetry, to be honest with you, but I love Stephanie's reading of her poetry and of other people's poetry. I've had the pleasure of getting to hear that, too. Well, anyway, I'm going to put a link to the YouTube um, videos of her reading at Malvern. I'm going to put a link. If you're in Austin, I recommend going to Malvern Books and buying your books there. Uh, she sent me for my birthday a couple of books, and... The one I'm going to be reading from today is a New Directions book. It's called A Musical Hell by Alejandra Pizarnik. Pizarnik. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Alejandra Pizarnik. Uh, so like I said, another Argentine poet. She was only 36 years old when she died in 1972. Did not lead a happy life, led a, um, a remarkable and impressive and productive life, but... 
I'm not going to lie to you and say, well, she committed suicide when she was 36. So sad life, absolutely astounding poet. Um, you know, from what I've read, and I didn't know her until Stephanie sent me this, but I do think that she believed that you kind of had to suffer for your art. And I definitely used to believe that as well. And I'm here to tell you that you don't. Um, and I could go on and on about that, but it makes me too sad to talk about. But I've been in places where I believed that and I lived that way, and it's not true. For anyone listening who thinks it is, it's not. You can be happy and make great work too. Well, anyway, but I do think it's great to go through these times if you can, if you can uh, pick yourself back up. Well, anyway, I'm going to be reading her poem, Primitive Eyes. Where fear neither speaks in stories or poems, nor gives shape to terrors or triumphs. My name, my pronoun, a gray void. I'm familiar with the full range of fear. I know what it's like to start singing and to set off slowly through the narrow mountain pass that leads back to the foreigner in me, to my own expatriate. I write to ward off fear and the clawing wind that lodges in my throat. And in the morning, when you are afraid of finding yourself dead, of there being no more images, the silence of compression, the silence of existence itself, this is how the years fly by. This is how we lost that beautiful animal happiness. Mm, I would throw my book, but my cat's right here, and she's going to get scared and mad at me. Oh, my God. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Alejandra. Uh, thank you, Malvern Books. Uh, reminder, I do this podcast to praise poetry. I do this not for any weird motive, no money, no nothing. I just want to share the things I've come across that I love, that have moved me, in hopes that occasionally something will hit you and it'll move you as well, or it will at least spawn you to research something that will then make you find something that moves you and changes your life. And I want to share my life with people, not because I think I'm special, but because I think that sharing one's life with others is important, being open, being honest, being vulnerable, to a point at least. It's all worth it, and it's all necessary. And I believe if people aren't doing that in whatever way they can and that they feel safe, then I think it's, well, I don't know. But remember, I also do hate a lot of things, too. I hate a great deal of art and poetry. I just don't share that stuff on here. Hey, I want to thank Rachel from Tennessee. <laughs> Rachel, girl, you just made my goddamn week. She said she left me an iTunes review, you guys. And if you haven't done that, I would love it if you would. Um, she said she recently started listening to me reading stuff, um, and she is walking through, biking through, cooking through, studying through, yoga-ing through, piddling through, erranding through her days with me and the lightness and earnestness with which I share what I love. She listed some things I love, mustard, coffee, her listeners, and poetry, among other things. I don't remember saying how much I loved mustard, but that is true. I love mustard. I hate mayonnaise. Um, and sweet Rachel also said that my reminder, it says, her reminder to be good to myself, to be good to others, helps me orient my day, myself into the day. God, I can't read because I'm trying to change pronouns here. Um, anyway, she said that I remind her to lighten the hell up and to laugh. God, thank you for that. That makes me so happy. Sometimes I don't know what the hell I'm doing, so that really helps me see myself. Hey, listen, Rachel, seriously, thank you. And everyone else, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you have enough food to eat. I hope your family is healthy. I hope you have money for all the necessities, laundry detergent, dish soap. I hope you like some things about yourself because there's a whole lot to like. I hope you aren't letting people walk all over you. I hope you're being honest. Oh, I have a quote here. This is Henry David Thoreau. If you have built castles in the air, your work need not be lost. That is where they should be. Now put foundations under them. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. Chin up, buttercup. Bye-bye.